Hi everyone. Um, okay, so I'm just going to do some videos um, on the Ivana wig. Um, so the Simply Wigs team have had loads and loads and loads of requests through about the Ivana wig. Um, and people are really wanting to see all of the amazing colours in the range. So for the Ivana wig there are 18 colours to choose from. And really this video is just about kind of helping um, you to see the different colours in the range and really just kind of establish which one, you know, you think that you're going to like and which one, I guess you can maybe like compare to perhaps your old hair colour, that kind of thing. So hopefully you will find this quite useful. Ivana is one of the best selling wigs for Simply Wigs, so it's definitely appropriate that we chose this wig um, to do this kind of video with. Um, so yeah, we're just kind of giving you what you want. Um, so if you do, if you don't know much about the Ivana wig, or if you're not that familiar with it, I'm going to make sure that Simply Wigs do put a direct link into a previous wig review that I have done before on Ivana. Um, I just don't want to take up time talking about the style and, you know, the cap structure and that kind of thing in this video, because it really is just about the colour. So yeah, I'm going to get going. Um, so. In this video, I am going to look at all the different blonde wigs. So I am wearing one of them, as you can see, um, and this one is actually the Melted Marshmallow. So for the for the intro of the video, I decided to choose one which was my favourite and which stood out to the blondes. Um, yeah, which stood out to me, really. Um, and I'd say it, it's kind of on par. I'd say it's probably one of the lightest blondes that they do have in the range. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it, the camera over to the window. Um, it's quite a dark day today. Um, so yeah, just so you can see the colour, just more in the natural light. There we go. So as you can see, um, it is quite light. Um, and I'd say it's actually got some icy tones to it, um, which I really like, actually. And I think that's what makes it... Um, almost the, the lightest one really because it's got those like icy kind of silvery grey tones um, but they're not overwhelming now it's also rooted as you can see and I really really like that um, I think actually it's probably one of my favourite things to go for when I choose a colour for a wig because I do think it looks more natural and more realistic and actually if you think about like the ombre and is it balayage is that how you say it um <laughs> It, it's all kind of like on trend at the moment now anyway so um i would definitely opt for a rooted color personally but can you see how that just blends so beautifully like into the light ones so it's definitely lighter at the end but yeah so i'm just going to show you like a quick 360 of the video of the wig just so you can see a little bit more And then to the side again. So hopefully this is giving you a good um, kind of impression of the colour melted marshmallow. And then I'm just going to do a quick 360. And this angle is really not flattering for me. <laughs> um, okay, so what I've actually done, there are five blondes in the range, so I've actually lined these up on the bed. Now it's not letting me turn my camera around. <laughs> So I'm just going to have to show you like this. Um, but yeah, so I've, I've tried to line them up so that it goes um, from the lightest to the darkest. So like I say, I started with Melted Marshmallow. I would then say that the next one um, is Rose Gold. Then I've put for the kind of mid-range um, blonde as Ice Blonde. Then Creamy Toffee which is really quite similar, I would say, to this next one, which I've put as the darkest, which is a mochaccino. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try the others on, show you in the light, just so you can see a little bit more. So I'm just going to pop the camera there for a moment. And I will bring this one over. And just show you the difference. Look at me and my joggers. <laughs> really, maybe maybe I should have dressed for the occasion. <laughs> okay. So this colour that I've got on here is the 
rose gold rooted so before I do anything I'm just going to show you a quick 360 so from the side the back So I'm going to bring the camera over to the window now, just away from the artificial lighting, because you will find that the colours do change quite significantly. But because it is quite dull at the moment, and I've decided to film this on a rainy day, it, it is quite hard to try and get the best light in this room as well. So yeah, so this is melted marshmallow rooted. So it is ever so slightly darker, and it's not got the grey tones as much. But it is still a nice light blonde. Um, and actually... I don't know actually now if I prefer this one to the other one. So <laughs> you can see how quite similar they are because I think that both colours suit me quite well. Um, but yeah, this one's rooted again. I'd say the roots are very similar colour um, and it, again, it like blends naturally. Now I'd say that the darker colours go through, go a bit further down and, and are kind of blended throughout this one. Um, but yeah, again, I really like it. I think this is a really nice blended colour with of different kind of light blonde shades but it has got a little bit of darker blonde in there so just let's give you a bit more so hopefully that gives you a good indication of this one so let me go and get the next one so the next one that i'm going to do is now ice blonde so I'll take this one off. Give it a quick comb through. So already with this one, I can tell one of the big differences. Um, I wonder if you guys will be able to. Okay, so it's not rooted and that makes a massive difference. So can you see how it looks actually a lot lighter all the way throughout? And that's literally because it's not rooted. So I'll do a quick 360 now, but then I will show you more in the light. So this one is Ice Blonde. Okay, and over to the window we go. Okay, so now although, <laughs> so obviously it hasn't got the roots, so at the top it is definitely lighter um, because it's not a rooted wig. However, overall the wig is darker. Um, in fact, I'm gonna get the other one so I can just kind of show you in comparison. Now they are quite similar. I wish I had two heads. So I could really show you. <laughs> but yeah, you can see that this, the light, the lightness kind of in the one previous, the light tones kind of show a lot sooner. Whereas because this is not rooted, the, the dark tones go throughout the blonde really. So this is ice blonde. Um, I'd say that the tones are quite icy. It's quite ashy really. Um, but it has got those dark shades running through it. And then... Let's just compare it back to the lightest one, which was Melted Marshmallow, because I remember saying that this one was quite icy as well, but you can see the difference, can't you? This one has quite warm tones, where I'd say that um, the Ice Blonde is quite cool tones, which would make sense with it being called Ice Blonde. <laughs> so then on to the next one. So I'm now going on to um, the second to last darkest, or the fourth darkest, out of the blondes. So I'll just change these over. <laughs> Got music on in the background, which is why I'm just singing away. Okay. Giving this a quick brush through. So obviously when they just come out of the box they are a little bit wild at first okay so 
so I'm just coming over here so I can get the correct name for you. Okay, so the one that I'm wearing right now is Creamy Toffee Rooted. So I'm just going to pop that down for you and do a 360. So remember there is a bit of a difference between the artificial light and the natural light as well. And I will show you both. So this is the side view. I think I went off to the side then, didn't I? <laughs> Almost did a little dance. So yeah, I'm gonna bring this over to the window so I can just show you again. So can you see how the roots in this are definitely a lot darker and actually the roots tend to they actually come down a little bit further, I think. Now the blonde tones in it are quite caramel-like, they are quite warm and again I think that the name suits it really well being Creamy Toffee. So it's still creamy because it's light um, but it's just a bit warmer um, and that and that kind of like that dark chocolate, um, those roots kind of really kind of set the tone for it. So I'm going to show you the difference with this one and the previous. So can you see, definitely a lot darker, just in terms of the roots, and I think that's what makes it darker. So if you like a bit of blonde, but you're naturally quite dark, then this could be a good option to go for because you're kind of getting the best of both and the dark roots will really suit your skin tone, but you can still get away with having a lighter, the lighter ends, if that makes sense. And then I'm going to go on to the last one. I'm just going to show you a bit more in the light. It's my ring light that um, I'm in front of at the moment. I thought it would be, you know, the best way to kind of light up the space. Okay, giving it a quick shake. So this is the last one, and this is the one which I've said is the darkest of the blondes, but there really isn't a lot of difference between the last the this one and the other one so this one is actually mochaccino rooted um but i really like this color and i think it is because it's a bit darker so for me when i look at this i would call it mousy brown and that is what i naturally am <laughs> so yeah i'm just going to show you another another 360 of this i love like you can, how you can see the golden tones there as the light shines on it i actually think I've, I've done a full 360 here and this is probably my favourite now out, out of the five. Okay, so again I'm going to bring it over to the window and give you another look. So again you can still see those golden tones shining through. But and even though it is darker at the roots, now as you get darker, you can almost see how the roots kind of come a bit, oh, almost dropped my phone, come a little bit further down. Um, but you've just kind of got those nice highlights through it. Um, yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. So can you see how those really light golden tones are just shining through that there? So let's just pop the other one next to it just so we can see the difference between these two darkest ones in the chest in the range so actually when they're next to each other there's not a massive difference really this one is lighter like you can see there that the, the the tones of blonde are definitely lighter and they're a bit more creamy whereas i'd say that the one the one that i'm wearing is much more golden so the one that i am wearing is mochaccino and the one previous was creamy toffee um if you're looking for a dark blonde, I think Mochaccino is definitely the one to opt for. However, there is not a great deal of difference between Mochaccino and Creamy Toffee. So, you know, it, it could be worth trying both or just taking the risk on which one you would potentially want. Um, but yeah, and I'm really happy that this is the one that I'm finishing on out of the blondes because I, I really like the colour. Um, yeah, 
uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what else to say on this one because it yeah it's a it's an absolutely lovely color so just to summarize um the mochaccino is the darkest one and then we've got the lightest one which is the melted marshmallow so that one is a little bit icier um whereas this one it's got like your golden blondes through it so hopefully this has helped you establish more about the blondes um but yeah and again if you do want to know a little bit more about the Havana wig um just head over to the simply wigs um youtube page and you'll be able to find the actual video review for the Havana on there um so yeah thank you so much for watching and i will be doing reviews on all the other different colors in the range as well so there are 18 in total so we've got a few left to go but thank you